Hi everyone and welcome to today's Sunday School session. Today we're going to do a bit of a reminder lesson, something we've heard about before. It was something that Reverend Milliken did with us about five months ago, but we weren't all together and we weren't in church. So he told a story and it was on one of the online videos. And following on from our story last week about Noah and the flood and our rainbows of hope, I thought this was quite a good one to do as well. So I'm going to start with a question. Have any of you ever played line tick? So you know when you tick somebody and if you tick them then you hold hands and you create a big long line and you put to try and tick everybody. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I've never played that. I don't know what you call it, but has anybody ever played that? I thought it was the one where you have to stay on the lines and if someone, it's like Pac-Man, but if someone gets caught, oh, you stay no, there this and one. you do it. You're all running about and somebody is it and they tick someone and when you tick them, you join hands and then the two people are running and they tick someone else. Sardines. Huh? It's sardines. Yeah. Is it called sardines? Oh, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. But has anybody ever played it? Yes. Yeah. What happens to the line? What happens to the line if you're good at ticking? Or tagging? Or whatever? Catching people? It gets longer. The line gets longer and longer and longer. And has anybody ever been to a party and done, done the conga? Yes. <laughs> yeah, most people have done the conga. And what happens, it starts off with one person, maybe two people, and then the music starts to play, and everybody joins in, and soon you've got a whole snake of people going around the dance floor doing the conga. But why am I talking about tag and tag and sardines or whatever, and the conga? am I talking about this? Well, the minister told us this story about a very tiny seed. It's a seed that you can plant in your garden. Can anybody remember what the seed was? Date. Sunflower. No, it wasn't a sunflower. That's a good guess. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny seed. So tiny. Can you see it? Yeah. No. Tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny seed. Tiny seed. I've got two on my hand. And they're tiny. They're so small you can't see them between, between my fingers. They're tiny. Do you know what they are? They're mustard seeds. And mustard seeds are the smallest seeds that you can plant. They're tiny. I mean, I wonder how many are in this jar? Millions. Hundreds, there must be. I don't know if there's millions, but there's definitely hundreds. But what happens if we look after things that we plant, what happens to them? So if we give them water and they get sunlight, what happens to them? What happens to the plant? Do they melt? No, what happened to the plants that you planted at Easter in your plant pot? What, did they, what happened to the little flowers? Um, yeah, and then, and then one came out. One came out, that's right. What happens to them, Sophie? They grow. They grow. So, what do you think a mustard seed grows into? Does anybody know? A mustard flower. That's right. It starts as a mustard flower. But then it grows into the most amazing tree. A tree that's nearly 10 foot tall. 10 feet. That's nearly double the height of John or Davy. Mr. Todd and Mr. Watkins. Wow! But why? Is the kingdom of God compared to a mustard tree or a mustard seed? Well, what Jesus is trying to tell us 
is that out of something small, something truly wonderful and big can, can grow. Because if we think about it, when Jesus first came on earth, he was just one person. He was born, he was God's son, he was one person. But then he walked along and he saw two fishermen. And he said to those two fishermen, come, join me. And suddenly one had become three. And then they saw two more. And Jesus again said, come and join us. So the two said, okay. And so suddenly one had become three, had then become five. And Jesus met a few more people. And how many friends did Jesus end up getting? How many disciples did he end up having? No, 12. 12. Well done. But 12 is still quite small. I mean, we're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We nearly doubled 12 people in this room. So 12 was still quite small. And yet, more and more people started to listen to Jesus' story and more and more people started to share God's love and to share the rainbow of hope with other people they meet. And now here we are today in our church hall still sharing the story of God's love and talking with the minister about looking after our planet and being thankful for all the things that we've got. So you see, something that started very small grew into something very big. And it's the same with all of us. What small things could we do that could make a big difference? No. Stop running Stop rubbish on the ground. Stop throwing rubbish on the ground so that we can make our communities look nice and tidy in places where people want to live. Very good. What others? Stop flinging things around. <coughs> Stop flinging things on the floor. Uh huh. That's very good. Don't put your put your rubbish in your pocket, not on the floor. That's right. Keep things nice and tidy. What other small things could we do that could make a big difference? It might be for somebody you know. It might be when you're in school. What do we think? You're five. Are you sure? Yeah, you go to school when you're five. That's right. Ross, what do you think? What small thing could you do that could make a big difference? Um, one. Mm -hmm. That's right. Look after. Look after our environment. Plant more things so that we have so that the, the earth is, is sustained and the earth is looked after, that's right. And what things could you do to help other people? And it might not be a big thing, but what things could you do to help other people? Yes, Mum. For your mum, you can do the dishes instead of them. I think that's a great idea. Give mum a bit of time. To clean the plates. Clean the plates, that's right, Jacob. We could clean the plates so we could be helpful to other people. And at the time, that small thing might not seem like a very big thing because you're just washing the dishes. But I wonder what happens to how your mum feels when you firstly offer to do it and then you do it really well. Who's not well? Is mummy not well? So what, what if mummy wasn't well, what could you do to make her feel better, Jacob? Give her a sticker and a toothbrush. And a toothbrush. Oh well, I think, and then because then she'll be nice. Her teeth will be nice and clean, and she'll feel a bit better. Uh huh. Oh, I think that's lovely, Mum. You're going to get a sticker to make yourself feel better. I think that's a lovely thing to do. So when the minister was telling us the story about from a small thing, so Jesus, one person 
spreading the word of God and then speaking to thousands of people. Make the house lovely, yes. That's a lovely thing to do, make the house lovely. Stay away from the candles. Yes, but that's a very good thing to do as well. See, that's a small thing, to stay away from the candles. But that keeps you all safe. So that's a really good thing to do. Or you blow the candles out. You blow the candle out. You've got to remember to blow the candle out. That's right. And you stand back from it. But you see, that's a small thing. But you two have both listened to what your mums have told you. And you've remembered it. Uh-huh. She tells you no, not to touch it. But you see, these little things are really important because that keeps you safe. Yeah. So the small things that can make people happy, the small things that can keep people safe, the small things that we can do that can protect the planet, and all of these little things added up mean that we are looking after each other and we're looking after our world. And that's exactly Bye, what Jesus... Well. Mommy's not feeling well. And when mummy's not feeling well, what do you do to make mummy feel better? Mummy's always got to sleep. Do you, have, do you, do you sit, so are, you, are you nice and quiet so mummy gets a good sleep? See, that's a lovely thing to do. That's a lovely thing to do. So God wants us to remember that when God's in charge, small things can get bigger and brighter. And what he wants us to remember is that he's in, in our heart and he's looking after us all of the time. And we've got to spread some of that light to everybody else. So we've got to share that love and we've got to share that hope with everybody that we meet. Because if we do that, then that little mustard seed will grow really big and tall and strong and it will grow into a healthy tree. And that's what God wants to happen with his kingdom. He wants everybody to be happy, healthy, and to look after each other, and to spread his love around about. So we're the young church. We have to be the shining lights. We have to be like that little mustard leaf seed, and we have to grow big and strong so that we can share God's message of love and hope with other people. So I want you to have a think about what small things you could do to shine God's love on somebody that you know. And that might be a family member. It might be your pet. Maybe you'll take them out for a walk in the morning. Or it might be somebody at school. Maybe it's a new person at school who doesn't know very many people. And you can become their friend. So have a think about what small thing you could do this week that could make a big difference. And you can tell us about it next week. Now we're going to do a short prayer. And then we're going to go and do a craft. And to remind you of the little mustard seed, you're all going to make a tree. Now you've got twigs, pipe cleaners, tissue paper, pens, you've got glue. What else have we got? Dry leaves. I had the Sunday school teachers out in the garden picking leaves and stuff up, up, off the ground. So we're going to make a tree. Eyes closed. Repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you. Thank you for being with us here today. Thank you for reminding us of the strength of your love and the importance that we share it with everyone we meet. Help us, Lord, to do something small that will make a big difference to someone else. Remind us to be kind, to be caring, and to take care of others. Amen. Amen.